What's up guys, I'm Ashley Jenkins and Yay has decided to suspend work on any further DLC or content for Battlefield 4 until the rampant bugs plaguing the game are fixed. An EA rep apologized for the state of the game saying, We know many of our players are frustrated and we feel your pain. We will not stop until this is right. Earlier this week, EA delayed an update for the PS4 version of the game to do additional testing. The update, which doesn't yet have a new scheduled release date, is meant to fix issues with players being kicked from servers, game crashes, the lack of conquest servers, and a particularly brutal one-hit kill bug. The delay may be the result of new bugs introduced to the game with the China Rising DLC, which is available to Battlefield Premium subscribers ahead of its public availability on the 17th. The DLC brings with it new bugs across all platforms, like being unable to join China Rising servers and being ejected from the game. They may even have put a halt to work on their upcoming Battlefront game to get all hands on deck to repair their newest release. EA hasn't exactly confirmed that this is the case, but have said we haven't announced a ship date for Battlefront, but right now the team is focused on fixing Battlefield 4. And moving on to happier news, a ton of new details have been made available about Bungie's next brainchild, Destiny, which is scheduled for beta early next year. While they don't refer to the game as an MMO to avoid the set of expectations that go along with that, they have revealed that all players will exist in the same world playing alongside one another as Guardians, watching over the last safe city on Earth and fighting to recover territory they lost to the enemies of the Traveler, a benevolent figure that appeared generations earlier and gave humans new technology and mystical powers to help them in their expansion to the stars. As a Guardian, you'll fight your way through areas big and small alongside your fellow players. Some may be designed for a few friends to explore without being interrupted by other players, or large-scale battles that depend on the weaponry of an army to deal with the scale difficulty of such a huge encounter. The settings vary from the launch site of the Russian space program to an abandoned scientific research settlement on Venus to a metropolis on Mars that's been reclaimed by the sand to, of course, the hive-infested moon. You'll fight your way through arachnid-like space pirates, a corrupt industrial militaristic empire, machines with disturbing organic elements, and the ancient hive. You'll choose your own race from among the humans, the aloof awoken, and the self-aware machines of the exo. Which you choose will be mostly a cosmetic decision and you can fully customize the appearance of whichever race you settle on. Then select your class from among the warlocks who sling spells to supplement their weapon abilities, titans, massive heavily armored dudes who soak up damage and deal at a close range, or hunters. Bounty hunters who prefer to keep a distance and bust out the pistols. Class will be a much more important decision than race, and along with class comes a focus, which acts much like a subclass that you can change out as you like to alter the way the class plays. Once you've created your character, you're ready to get on the move with your customizable personal vehicle for quickly traveling between locations in the open world, or your also customizable spaceship for warping between planets. And while we're space-faring, the beta for Starbound has kicked off today for those who pre-ordered the game as a backer or via Steam Early Access. For those not familiar with it, in the game you crash land on an alien but surprisingly inhabitable planet and embark on a quest to discover, explore, and fight your way across an infinite procedurally generated universe filled with random planets and creatures. Or you can settle down and run a farm, apparently. The game was announced February last year, and in April this year, they launched a Kickstarter-style pre-order for backers, which hit $230,000 in funding in its first 24 hours, and has grown to $2 million as of the end of October. Finally, Nintendo has announced two new Pokémon bundles in North America for their 2DS, a version of the 3DS handheld intended for children 6 and under that doesn't feature 3D capabilities or an easily broken hinged top. The first bundle is a red 2DS with Pokémon Y that will be exclusive to Target, and the second is a blue 2DS with Pokémon X that will be exclusive to Toys R Us, both for $149. The bundles will be available December 6th to hit the rapidly closing shopping window leading up to the holidays. And that's the news today. What race class combo are you planning on playing in Destiny? Let us know what you think of the new details in the comments below. Then check out roosterteeth.com for the newest episode of our gaming podcast, The Patch, where we join in on the great PC versus console debate.